Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So, the facts are over. I was approached to after 13 years. A lot I had to think about. Nations, age, the damn script. I'm speaking straight from my heart. So, I appreciate it if you wanted that invincible some bitch that you saw 13 years ago. But the fact is, things just a little bit. I'm still that guy, but I'm a guy whose focus has moved directly to his family. For the right reason, we can accomplish great things. I think that doing it for my family, WWE Universe, it reason. It gave me the opportunity for 13 years to share a, a part of my life I never saw. It's been an unbelievable ride. This guy in the world to be given an opportunity to come back and show you a little piece of what I used to do. Boo me, or you can cheer me, but the fact is, little boy right there is the reason why my heart still beats, is the reason why I wake up every damn morning and go to the weight room and drive my ass into the ground to become something that he can be proud of. I think past number of months, we've accomplished what we set out to do. You appreciate the opportunity from these fans and all the people in the back that we've been given because it's once in a lifetime. You both more than can be quantified. We've proven that by me living in the gym, living in the bathroom for God's sakes, and living at the dinner table for the past six months so they come out here and be a little glimpse of what I used to be. Bumps already. That's one more than I've taken in my entire career until last night. Things have changed over 13 years. Show you like you like to make us start words, but to you straight from my heart, and this ain't part of the show. Take that Universal Championship title to my son's school. I felt standing in front of those kids and his teacher and son was immeasurable. There is nothing that anyone on the planet to take that away from he and I. Ted, you can boo me or cheer me, but at the end of the day, it means you care one way or another, and it means I've done something. Could possibly be the last time you ever see me in a ring. People may appreciate that. As I said, I'm here for my family. I appreciate it. I will fight and I will push and I will train and I do whatever the hell it takes to be me. Ten years removed from the debacle of WrestleMania 20, I think we did pretty damn good last night, Brock and I. Ed still had a little glimmer of that Goldberg. Having that glimmer gave me hope that I could succeed. I still believe I am one of the biggest, baddest some bitches on this planet. <laughs> Never know what or who's next. Here tonight for a true champion his son and of course his wife and rings ride for Goldberg since the start of his career back in the late 1990s to the culmination of the United States to the uh, Universal Jazz Month and of course to the WrestleMania match with Brock Lesnar. Story for the ages and a story I'm sure we will never forget. One more thing, 
never say never. Any guys think that make a return like this six months ago? No. Absolutely not. Goldberg has done nothing but defy the odds since returning to WWE. Sometimes goodbyes. Memories. Thank everyone in the WWE and White, very emotional as well. To thank everybody here in Orlando the, you know, for WrestleMania week and of all the great fans that sold out the Amway Center here to, to make Raw app. Week that has been a. Here's to many more. To be a part of this and an honor and privilege to at WrestleMania. Berg says goodbye to this. Sold out crowd here at the Amway Center. We want to tell you, all talk is not over yet. We've got plenty more to come. Let's go back to the locker room area here in a moment. With Renee Young and Jerry the King Lawler.